Cześć, tam was bardzo serdecznie w Black Mirror i oczywiście w kolejnym odcinku. Jeżeli pamiętacie, to odkrywaliśmy tajemnicę schowka oraz gabinetu naszego ojca, znaczy ojca Dawida, nie naszego, wiadomo. No i znaleźliśmy makietę, do której mamy element, więc włóżmy. It looks very precise, accurate. A lot of work went into this. No, świetnie, ale włóż. There's a bit miss... Hold on. There. No, bingo. Stop your wife. Stop your wife. No to grubo, moi drodzy. Jezu, przestań czekać, dzieciaku, no. The boy! Did he see him? Where did he go? What? All right, sir. What happened, David? The boy. There was blood, and he he pushed him down. Who? Who do you think you saw? To był jego dziadek i ten mój chłopiec to był jego ojciec. O kurde. No, ktoś tu ma niezłe omomy teraz. Co did you just say, sir? Nic nie mówią. It's all right. You're like your father. You can see them too, can't you? Kogo niby? My father. What did he think he saw? It ain't my place to say, sir. But I. Go on. No move. Begging your pardon, sir. You should go. This place. It drove your father mad. Drove him. Did he say what or whom he saw? I'm sure I don't know, sir. Best not push her too hard. She's scared enough of me already. Mm, no, Marshatsi. I've been babbling in my sleep since I was a child. It's nothing to worry about. Poor girl is scared out of her wits. Of course, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, I didn't get your name. It's Ailsa, sir. Ailsa Cranon. Oh. And Master Andrew asks if you would join him in the library. After breakfast, of course. Thank you, Miss Cranon. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, David. Oh, uh, okay. Niezłe mamy teraz zwity. Czyśmy... Ciekawe, czy myśmy coś po prostu aktywowali przez tą ma makietę? Hmm. Czy coś? Were these apparitions what drove my father from the castle when he was young? Were they what drew him back? He must have found something in the family chronicles he spoke of. Hmm. Może ich rodzina jest przeklęta. Czy coś? 
Nobody else saw the boy or the old man who looked like my grandfather Edward. But it felt real, more even than the daydreams that plagued my childhood. I don't remember ever seeing that boy. A faded memory, perhaps? As far as I know, I've never been to this castle before. No, mnie się wydaje, że to jest jego ojciec po prostu tak był mały. Ale to tylko moje przypuszczenia. Elsa knows more than she wants to tell me. No, to na pewno. Czy co? Mam iść do Elsy? Kim był ten chłopiec i dowiedz się, co wie Elsa. Czy tam Alisa. No, no to chodźmy. Aj, and once you're done in the kitchen, go and clean up the cellar. The spiders have made a nest. Oh, dzięki. Jest robota dla faceta. They're crawling everywhere. Serio? Uh, Master David. Nice of you to grace us with your presence. Znaczy, ja mam nic do pająku, bo niektóre pająki są spoko, ale niektóre tak nie lubię niektórych pająków. No dobra, bądźmy życzliwi, no. I appreciate your patience. I've had the staff prepare some of the finest Scottish delicacies for you. Black pudding, haggis, scrambled eggs with deer brain, and bacon. Jecznica z muskiem jelenia. Really? Zjedz, zjedz. Dobra, zaczniemy od kiełbaski. Szybko zjadłam. Okay. Mother was never a fan of dishes made from entrails. In this case, she'd be missing out. Okay, dobra. Nie, no zjedzmy wszystko. I shot the deer myself in the local woods. Mm, to nie dość, że kamer dyner, to jeszcze ten kusownik. Ale pogoda. That was delicious. Thank you. I'm sure our local specialities must seem peculiar to one raised as you were. I was raised in India. My spectrum of peculiar has quite a range. I know. Te nie jadu jakieś wiecie, robaczki, inne mrówki. Yes, Master David. Okay, to pogadajmy z nim. Uh, how many staff are there? Nowadays, only myself, the maid, and Rory the gardener. I suppose you could include the lawyer too, if that is work. <laughs> Not many for such a big house. If you felt like hiring more staff, I would not complain, sir. But of course, not everyone is suited to work in this house. No, ta, jak kurde ten dom jest nawiedzony, to się nie dziwię w sumie. Co za kocz? If I gave him the earring, he'd use it as an excuse to torment the maid. Not that I'd ever gain his trust. He's clearly loyal to Lady Margaret. You've worked for the family all your life. Yes, Master David. Save my time serving in Swaziland. You served in South Africa. Oh, indeed, sir. During the Boer War. But Sir Edward intervened and I was able to return unharmed from that most futile conflict. Mm -hmm. May I ask, the maid, she seems nervous, almost afraid of me. She's afraid of everything. You don't think much of her? I do not, sir. And if I may be so bold, one of Lady Gordon's earrings has gone missing. No, but she's you suspect the maid? Not my place to say, so Master coming. David. Yet I think you just did say. No, nie lubię tego well, good day to you. Indeed, sir. No, dobra. To nie ma co z nim już gadać. Dobra, podejrzewam, że musimy się udać z powrotem do gabinetu. Ale wypadałoby też z tą pokojówką pogadać. Elsa knows more about my father than she dares tell me. I'd better earn her trust now. She might return to the village once the weather clears. Hmm. Dobra. Smoking a pipe. I thought that would be beneath her station. Eh, yeah, tam. Pogadajmy się z babcią. Uh, Lady Margaret. David. 
David. May I first apologize for my strange behavior last night? It's just that... Uh, think nothing of it. You are obviously tired from your travels. Least said, soon is mended. Okej. Okay. Bo to gadajmy o Edwardzie. Ale to wygląda na to, że... Odnoszę takie wrażenie, bo on się do niej zwraca nie jako, wiesz, babcia czy coś. Nie wiem, czy to jest po prostu wynika z tego, ze szacunku. Czy po prostu y, pani Margaret, czy tam Lady Margaret, jest byłą żoną Edwarda, ale nie ma nic wspólnego z y, ich rodziną. Jakby drugą żoną czy coś. Uh, what kind of man was my grandfather? Oh, he was magnificent. He was handsome, so handsome. And caring. Caring enough to knock a defenseless child down the stairs. Hmm. All was so very different when he was around. No, ale niestety... I don't want to give her another reason to think me mad. Uh, this may seem like an unusual question. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, dear boy. Have I ever been here before? Is it possible I visited as a child and can no longer remember? Oh no, you are a stranger to these walls. Mm -hmm. And I have a feeling you prefer it stayed that way. Ja, e, no także e, podtrzymuję się to, co mówiłam, że to na pewno podobnie był ojciec jego, a po prostu widział wizję z przeszłości. The maid. She seemed to be acting strangely, like she was frightened of me. Yes, well, she's a simple sort, that one. She has probably heard of the curse of the Gordons the locals like to whisper ha, about. Wiem, że jakaś klątwa z nimi ciąży. What curse? Just a peasant superstition. I would guess she was worried you'd show the same displays of unpredictable violence as your father did. I never knew my father to be the violent type. Oh, there are many things you do not know about your father. This is his doing. What? But, but how? I'd rather not discuss it, David. And that maid should really keep uh, her ja mouth shut and ja locate ja. the earring she lost. She's like a magpie with shiny, expensive things. No, nie tak oskarżać ludzi, no. Dajmy jej te kolczyki. I could give it to her, and she'd still never tell me anything useful hmm. about my father or the secrets of this place. But the maid? I could use this to earn her trust. Mm -hmm. Czyli damy pokojówca, pokojówca odda y, Lady Margaret i Lady Margaret będzie przekonana o tym, że jednak to była pokojówka, która ukradła jej te kolczyki. I shall take my leave, Lady. <laughs> no, dobra, yes. i będzie. Oh, and David, the master of the house needs to respect the privacy of those under his roof. Even your father understood that. Sometimes a cabinet is locked for a reason. Oj tam, oj tam. Dobra, dajmy, że nic nie wiemy. A cabinet? I'm... I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know anything about it. I see. Never mind then. Okej, okay, dobra, nie przyznawajmy się. No dobra, trzeba znaleźć tą pokojówkę. Gdzie ona może być? Czy mogę wyjść jednak? Nie mogę. No dobra, czyli musimy się chyba tak do gabinetu, tak mi się wydaje. Prawnika? Chyba nie, ale mam jakieś dokumenty. David, apologies for not being here to greet you. As the telephone in the castle is not working due to the recent storm, I have had to journey to the village to communicate mm. with my office. Upon my return, I shall show you to the chapel where you can pay your respects to your father. Yours, Andrew Harrison. Or maybe I'll just head to the chapel myself, just as soon as the weather clears. No, tak i tak tam mamy iść przecież, nie? No to co teraz? Halo, halo. Halo, halo, halo. Czyli dalej musimy tą Alice znaleźć. Dobra, ale ta Alice prawdopodobnie będzie w piwnicy. It's Mallory. Perhaps another client of Mr. Harrison. Dobra, moi drodzy, to wracamy się do kuchni. Jest! Hello? Uh, Miss Cranon? Dobra. Zacznijmy od kolczyku. 
I think you may have lost this. Oh, sir! Oh, thank you, sir. I only wanted to see how it looked in the mirror. I didn't mean to. I was scared to tell her ladyship. Oh, she can have such a temper. What are you going to do now? Uh, if I can sneak it into the salon, maybe her ladyship will think she lost it there herself. No, From what I know about her, I very much doubt her ladyship will. Would you like me to escort you to the cellar? Wouldn't be proper to ask the owner of the house to do that, sir. Well, I'm not the owner yet. And you didn't ask. Very kind of you, sir. Happy to help. I'll let you know when I'm ready to accompany you down there. No, jestem gotowa. Dobra, pogadajmy. Did you ever talk to my father? I was serving here when he... That is to say, I... Go on, please. I didn't think it'd be proper, sir. Lady Margaret said... Kurde, no. oh, sorry, sir. I must get on with my work. She's as scared of Margaret as she is of the butler. Poor girl. Hmm. No problem. What happened to my father here? I'm sorry, sir. You're not like the rest of them here. Oh, sir, there's things you should know, but I really need this job. She knows something, but how can I convince her to trust me? Hmm. I shall leave you to your work. Hmm. Chyba, nie wiem, coś znaleźć, czy coś, czy może jednak chodźmy do tej piwnicy. Tak po prostu. Shall we? No, chodźmy do piwnicy. No, no i tak nam nic nie powie, więc. Okej. Okay. Gdzieś poszło. Dobra, co tutaj mogę ci pomóc? Harsh as it may seem, a proper serving of fire is the only way to get rid of such a widespread infestation. No, to prawda, więc weźmy sobie tą świeczunię. Let's see what we can find down here. Okej, okay, chodźmy na zwiaty. Zbierajmy wszystko, co się da. Raw spirit. Not particularly palatable, but good for cleaning and magic tricks. Magic tricks, mówisz. The water of life. Some of these whiskies are from local distilleries. Dobra, czy ja się mogę teraz wrócić, po prostu postawić tam, czy coś z tym zrobić? O, spal. Step right up! Sir? What are you... Ah. <laughs> Oh my! Oh, that's amazing! Ale czarodziej z ciebie tej ciwie. No, David! A little trick I learned in India. Wow! Sorry! Did that scare you, Elsa? I didn't think. Huh. Co za but, no? And you are? Edward Malory. You may call me Edward III. So this is cousin Eddie. He seems welcome to my castle. Jakim twoim zamku? As terrible as the rest of them. My castle indeed. Pleased to meet you, Eddie. So, your parents would be my aunt and uncle Clara and Victor. Are they... Dead. Dead as door nails, the pair of them. <laughs> Lovely. You've lived here all your life, so you would have met my father. Only after he lost what marbles he had left. If it were up to me, I'd have locked him up in the loony bin a bit sooner. Bosh. Locked him up? So what are you doing down here, anyway? 
There's a line between honesty and rudeness that Cousin Eddie doesn't seem to recognize. Mm -hmm. I was helping Miss Cranon. Oh, why didn't you ask me? Excuse me, sir. Sirs, I really have to go. Leaving so soon? Or was it something I said? Tak, jesteś gburem. <laughs> they all tend to act like that in the presence of nobility. You said something about a loony bin? I did. Oh. Oh, you don't know. Not well? So. Well, never you mind. I have an animal to prepare. Hey, hello. I'm getting very tired of everyone in this house avoiding my questions. Uh, uh, there's something you should know, sir. Something important. I overheard them talking and I... Uh, you're paid to work, not chat. Get to it, girl. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. So sub boots. Library after dinner. At oh, last. I might get some answers. No, też jestem ciekawa. Dobra, po kolacji. Kiedy ta kolacja? Tutaj zostanie. Przyszedł, ale... Dobra, to może jednak trzeba iść na tą kolację już. Tutaj coś jest ciekawego? Nie. Dobra, to chodźmy. This will make it easier to carry. The boy. It must be. But I need to be sure. Perhaps the names are on the bag. No, całkiem możliwe. Dobra, zobaczmy sobie. No tak, jest ten chłopiec. Ooh. What's this? Looks like it's drawn in... blood? Hmm, czyją? Czyli to był jednak jego ojciec. Regardless of what I told Miss Cranon, these visions are like nothing I've ever experienced before, and they're getting worse. Oj, to prawda, te wizje to nic innego, czyli nic co wcześniej doświadczyłeś i stają się teraz gorsze. Takie szybkie tłumaczenie, bo czasami naprawdę nie wiem, czy te napisy się bugują. Dobra, żeśmy się tak by czegoś dowiedzieli, czy ja już będę mogła iść na obiad? <śmiech> Winnam, bo tutaj już nic innego nie, nie ma do roboty. Dobra, muszę ją pokazać uh, teraz. Lady Margaret? Yes, David. I saw an old photograph of a boy in the other room. Something tells me she wouldn't be happy if she knew I had it in my pocket. Tak, ah, tak that was taken in 1894. Young Johnny, your father. You can remember the exact year. It's a funny thing when you reach my age. You can remember dates from decades ago. But not what you had for breakfast. <laughs> Maybe others can't. Okay. Um, who, may I ask, were the others in the picture? That would be your Aunt Clara. And your late great grandmother, the last true Countess of Scarhandu House. And my dear Edward, of course. Of course. I uh, noticed my father had a scar in his face. How did that happen? <sighs> Falling from a tree, perhaps? I can't recall. But your father was a clumsy child. Can't recall. But you remember the date the photograph was taken? Hmm. <laughs> I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. No dobra, pogadaliśmy. Czy ja... Czy już jest gotowy obiad? <laughs> Finally some fresh air. Mhm. Mm czy jednak przestało padać? Master David, you could tell it was me. Your footsteps, I can the walk of everyone here. Well, that's that's rather incredible. 
Aye, that it is, laddie. That it is. I hear better than most. See more than most and all. Okay. Skoro tak mówisz. When you talked about what they did to my father, what did you mean? You should not have come back. You cannot go through what he did as a bairn and no be sick. So his hospitalization was justified then? Not for me to say. Before you think of putting down roots here, you should think on what the poison grew here did to your father. You can? No, not really. If you don't mind, this door will no mend itself. I'll leave you to it then. Father had a similar toolbox. Back when he still fixed things around the house. No, we're on to it. We're dalej. We must find that group with the dinosaurs. I knew that he was going to be here in the basement or something. Dobra, to zdecydowanie tutaj. Nobody left to mourn the dead. All care for their graves, it seems. I've seen this before. In the painting. This is the grave I saw in that waking dream or whatever it was. The grave my father buried something in as a boy. Who's buried here? If I could just ah, these vines are too thick. No, I'm sure it's not easy. I need something to cut through these. No. Oh, skrzyneczka. Weź, się, mówiłam. Rory's tools: a hammer, a talon saw, a bolt cutter. All a bit rusty, but in good order. Mogę poszczyć? Rory's tools. A, nie mogę. Mogę daj mi z nim. Eee, ciężki. Um, may I borrow your bolt cutter? Maybe, if I can, what you need it for. I don't interest you. Hmm. No, okay. The graves. I would like to tidy them up. That way, I can pay my respects properly. Hmm. Is that a fact? Why is that then? They are my family. They deserve to be remembered. Ah, fair enough, lady. Just grab it yourself, will ye? Yes, no, yes, no. Prawda, sobie nie ma problemu. Kiedy się z nim pokazać? Coś? No, mogę. The graveyard. Is it a family plot? Aye. No matter how high and mighty, all the Gordons end up there. <laughs> a cheery thought. Yeah. It's a shame we do not have the means to properly care for the graves. Why bother? His bones and food for worms. Uh, you wouldn't have to have a chapel key, would you? I ain't set a foot in there for years, and I don't intend to either. That'll <laughs> be a no then. Um, may I borrow your bolt cutter? Maybe. I need to. Then maybe you should get yourself a. Dobra, dobra. Starczy nam na razie ten przecinek. Better. Cecilia Shaw, Nee Gordon, Aunt Cecilia, Nell. Let's see if there's something really buried in here. Co jeszcze skopiował rękoma, tak? Another piece of the castle model. No. Czy nie jednak? No brąz. Obejrzymy sobie, czy coś jest ciekawego, ale chyba nie. Another part of the model, and it's stained with what seems to be old blood. Why did father bury this when he was a child? Ciekawe, ciekawe. Czy ja mogę też otworzyć sobie kutkę do tej kaplicy? No tak. Hmm. Ha! Tak się robi. Po co nam jakiś klucz? Ok. 
Tutaj jesteśmy w środku. Being the chronicle of the family Gordon, as laid down by Sir Drummond Gordon, the year of our Lord, 1413. Local legend speaks of this particular clan as being inhabited from time immemorial. Enigmatic, elaborately carved Pictish stones stand as timeless evidence of this. As for the locals, they appear prideful of the counsel they delight in giving to visitors. Traveler, beware. The Celtic peoples arrived in this place like a great beast, bringing with them the bloodlines that would eventually spawn the Gordon clan. Using their superior numbers, knowledge, and machines of war, they swiftly conquered the primeval Picts. With them, they brought to their religion and druid clerics. The magics these wise men used did shape forever the lands, even until this present day. It is said that the sempiternal burden our family carries rose at that time. Nice. It is well recorded how the Empire of Rome did fail to tame the wayward Scots, that they did even raise a barrier to protect their mighty empire. What is seldom told is the truth behind their defeat. Our ancestors drew upon ancient powers to aid their victory, powers not easily fathomed by the fragile human mind. This aid did come at the greatest of costs. A debt as yet unsettled. A price we will continue to pay until the last Gordon passes to dust. No, to nie zła klątwa. For the centuries, we Gordons made the land our own. Others did bow to us, as we kept the secrets of Skahandu, the secrets of the Black Mirror. Mm. Even as tragedy and madness did fester in our foundations. We held fast and steered the land through vile English attack and worse. In time, the Gordons and the land became one. Some pages have been ripped out. The only thing left seems to be some kind of family oath. In blood we are bound. To the land we protect. To the truths we alone may conceal. I shall forfeit my life. Lest my clan should suffer, I shall forfeit my spirit to hold the darkness at bay. In blood we are bound till the day of the reckoning. What do you To czyżby właśnie to się stało z ojcem Davida, że on do, oddał swoje życie i ducha? Hmm. No i swoją krew wtedy. U, co to? Is this what madness feels like? It can't be real. Like the bottom of a lake. No. Ja go oddychasz. <laughs> Dobra, czyli nie mogę stąd wyjść, tak? O, rybka. What are you trying to show me? Hmm. 
a fresh wound across her stomach. The figure up there must be... Edward. No co ty, Edward popełnił samobójstwo? Dziwne. Czekaj, bo nie wiem, czy tam jeszcze coś jest? Wygląda hmm. jak kobieta, a nie jak facet. że da się umrzeć? No ja nie wierzę. <śmiech> o. No dobra, moi drodzy. A to, to ciekawe, ciekawe. Dobra, dobrze, że był automatyczny zapis. <śmiech> Nieźle. Dobra, to myślę, że tutaj no, skończymy. <śmiech> to otrzymajcie się. <śmiech> Do następnego.